Sierra joins us live from the University of Arizona campus. Mark, can you tell us what's going on? Yeah, that, that's exactly right, Danelle. I mean, it was a huge difference from last night where you saw the vandalism, the dumpsters on fire, the windows that were shattered, um, and the violence from the protesters. Tonight, completely different. As you can see, it's still going on behind us here at Old Main as the protesters have gathered peacefully. And it was, it was a peaceful demonstration all day. They made their way downtown towards the Tucson police headquarters. And as far as police go, they had a strong presence throughout the night. Um, but we did never see them engage. Instead, they allowed protesters to demonstrate how they wanted. The only time that they put up any sort of wall was at police Tucson headquarters, where they did not allow protesters onto the headquarters property. But other than that, after that demonstration, the crowd of around 300 people went back downtown, back here towards Old Main, where they gathered for the, about the last hour sharing stories and reasons of why they're here and some participants explained why they came out and why this mattered to them. The situation with uh, George that hit me hard because he was a big guy and everyone said he was nice and I'm a big guy and I'm nice. I don't I don't start no trouble and every time I leave my house that could be my last day. Now as far as we know there were no injuries and no violent acts tonight the outcome that was hoped for after last night's violence. We've got you covered from Old Main. I'm Mark Mangura, News 4 Tucson.